I'm so excited to be here today to tell you about an important breakthrough we've had. We're announcing a major step towards the quest to cure a serious life-threatening human disease, haemophilia. If you're gonna have haemophilia, Australia is probably the best place to have it on the planet. We're very blessed to be here at RPA, which is the home of some of our best and brightest uh, medical minds in this nation, if not the world. Haemophilia, a severe, life-threatening bleeding disorder. Our livers make clotting factors which protect us against bleeding every minute of every day. Without these clotting factors, we are at risk of bleeding into our joints, into our muscles, bruising, or even if there's a small cut, we can bleed severely. In this particular trial, we used a single injection of a gene medicine in the arm vein of 10 male adults between the ages of 18 and 53 with severe haemophilia B. This investigational viral agent is a gene transfer product and ferries the gene into the liver where it takes up residence and hopefully produces factor nine for the rest of the patient's life. It does work, but it's early days yet. We've only treated 10 volunteers with haemophilia B, but I can tell you that those 10 patients achieved near elimination of bleeding for more than a year. We're confident, therefore, that this therapy is life-changing for our patients, and without doubt, this is the best outcome to date for haemophilia gene therapy in the world. The Lee family have been irrevocably impacted by haemophilia, uh, with the loss of two of Mark's brothers, one at the age of 11 weeks and the other at 16. And I know as a mother myself how hard that must have been. I constantly had, well, as they described, like a micro bleeds in my, especially in my knees and my ankles. Now after having the treatment, I walk straight off the plane along with all the other passengers. Was one of my biggest, biggest moments was doing that. Just to, like I said, it's really small for most people. It's a really big thing for me. Game-changing science like this only happens with courageous people. This really is a story of hope for people living with human genetic diseases. For me as a mum, it's a godsend. Um, even though he's nearly 40, I still worry about him like most mums do. You know, when you get someone like him, that puts their heart and soul into something like this. It's just um, it's incredible. I'm absolutely ecstatic with his team and can't thank him enough. 